Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am KRX, and we are continuing on with our foundation series. Now, guys, make sure that you guys are um, not missing any episodes. There's a playlist link down below, and that'll that'll sort of have the episodes uh, shown shown in order. Sometimes YouTube recommends things out of order, or sometimes people will just randomly join, like you know, midway through a series or something, and not have seen the 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 beginning episode. So the playlist link is really really good for that. Um, and right now, actually, I think we can come over here and we can say, you know what, build this, build this wooden keep. Build that wooden keep. That's what our quest is telling us to do. We just purchased this big plot of land, and I'm thinking we're going to need more residential space out here. Maybe not too close to the bridge area. And not around this tiny patch of what looks to be fertile soil. Um, we were talking about building um, a farm on the island, which could be kind of cool. In fact, what we could do is we could build this on the edge of where it looks to be fertile. And then just have the field actually there. A windmill out here could actually be kind of neat. And then we'll need a bakery. wait a little bit on some of this stuff. Granary. We're talking about doing a marketplace, but I don't know, maybe the marketplace would be more out here or something. I think for now this market will be sufficient. Um, Yeah, maybe maybe we scoot this granary back just a bit here. Keep it out of that residential zoning. We're coming up on week one where we'll be able to do some promotions. We have a lot of fish, a lot of berries. We have a good amount of cheese. We should be making big money, but like construction, uh, actually our upkeep compared to our market value oof, is actually kind of, kind of close right now. I don't know where that upkeep came from exactly. Berries, cheese, clothing. Wool, weapons, wool, weapons, and uh, we'll leave the others blank for now. We are actually going to, we're going to get some weapons when this fort gets built, but then we're also going to um, need to probably buy some weapons at a point. So what I'm trying to understand is why is this territory cost... Most of that was purchasing this tile, so that's not a big deal. Construction cost, that's of course not. But the trade also, like we're about even right now for upkeep, and I don't know why, because we were making big money a second ago, and now we're even. So what's really changed there? And really what we do is we need we need money on hand to do the promotions. Their money is clearly going down. We're literally, we're literally losing a small amount of money right now. Uh, hello? Help? We have a lot of clothing that we could make. Like, if we could make money off of. We need, we need more people to buy the clothing or we're going to be in trouble. We need more people to buy the clothing. Oh wait, actually, will this give us money? Okay, who who of these do we need to help most? Um, because we have the fish. We have plenty of fish now. 
to complete this. Actually, probably the kingdom. Yeah, because then we'd actually be able to unlock those two. Those are the only ones we actually could unlock at the moment. We have a little bit stockpiled here. Eventually, we'll want to do labor. Yeah, eventually, we'll actually... Uh, 20, 20 convert... Uh, that's a while else away. Let's do for the uh, for the king. So what we have to do to complete this mission is we have to stockpile the fish, cook it. That just means it's kind of goofy, but... you And then you come and you collect... You click that to... to push the fish over you have to hit this button hit stockpile or else the game won't think it's available unless it is available if 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 it's available then you probably could just go down here and just pass it over but this by stockpiling it will make sure that it's not constantly like in transit like it has to come out of one of your granaries or your warehouses not out of your marketplaces or out of like the you know the actual like place where the fish are are initially gathered and stuff like that Promotions available. We have somehow we got some gold. Maybe completing that we did. Yeah, the quest gave us a little bit of gold. That's good because we're gonna need to promote as many people. In fact, actually, what I want is I want these people to be commoners. Those promoted will have new needs. Additional, they'll need additional types of food, so they'll buy more food. They'll buy um, and they'll buy goods. Goods are closed. Service. Oh, do they want church? They want to go to church. They want to go to church. As we make money, we're just going to get uh, more. We're going to get more serfs. Because it, it looks like the citizens actually aren't that interested. And going to this church, they want to. They want the rustic church. They want to go to an actual church. Okay, that's going to be an expense to say the least. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of a, a service shortage potentially. It, it seems as we get more more uh, commoners. I say citizens. Citizens, commoners, both begins with C. We should be making bank off of market though. Now that we have more and more people. Um, is this going to get done before the end of the week? No. No. We're out of planks. We have some wood, though, so it seems like there's a decent equilibrium there. Let's get another carpenter. And let's make sure we have three out of three people chopping wood. So more woodcutters and more carpenters. Granary was built. This is going to hold wheat, flour, and bread. And maybe fish, too. Because we're going to be clearly doing some fishing on the island. But it looks like things are... We almost have too many. Actually, let's, let's remove a couple cows. A little, little, little much there going on. Heck, we might even be able to remove some sheep. Just looking a little overcrowded. We have 50 people living in our town right now. Holy cow. That should be economic opportunity, right? Now we're making almost 100 in market. So we are officially making profit again. A decent profit, actually. It's, it's, it's really, you can, like, we can really see it going up here. Um, we're gonna need. We're gonna want another. We're gonna want another actual marketplace to sell the bread that we're gonna be making. Yeah, we get a little bit of a plank shortage. The planks are being made. Let's prioritize. Okay, we can plant. Oh, it's actually say the fertility's high out here. You know it's sand?
Again, I, I'm not actually convinced that fertility means anything. Um, that'll be fine, though. That's interesting that it's saying it's super high out here. I mean, I understand that water, like floodplains, are highly fertile. But this looks more like it's just kind of sandy. I don't, it just doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like muddy and marshy. Like, like what do you think of as a... Um, yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem exactly like the right, um, the right geology for uh, enhanced farming. Although maybe actually some crops maybe do really well in sand, to be honest, right? Because sand doesn't hold moisture, so there might be some crops that you you don't like that that don't require a lot of moisture, and when you water them, you can kind of just water them, and and the sand will let it kind of drain out, so they don't get overwatered and stuff. I'm, I, or maybe you water more continuously, or but but the, it doesn't hold the soil doesn't hold. I know for a fact there's some plants in, in my limited gardening. Gardening, um, sometimes you do use sand to, to make it so the, the soil will hold less 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 moisture. Depends on what you're growing, I guess. Got tons of clothing. Like if we could sell clothing. That would be amazing. All right, so if we could sell like anything over 90, sell or sell. Um, problem is the only people that want to buy clothing, oh, require 20 bread. Okay, so that's good. So we actually do want to get this bread up and going ASAP, right? Because if we can make this bread, if we can make bread and then we can actually get that and we can start selling clothing, we could be making bank. We got 2,400 gold worth of clothing over here. Holy cow. Okay, the fort's just been built. Um, that means we can get some soldiers. Oh, we actually have ran into our upper limit of how many available workers we have. Uh, we could probably go through and find some jobs, some professions where people are working that really don't need to be working yeah like we don't we don't need this much polished stone probably um, probably don't need that many people doing the berries let's just try to get up to five soldiers oh, we need one more and really you can have like ten, you can have like a just a, 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 is it unlimited amount you can have a lot of soldiers working out of each hut uh, each hut, I mean fort, out of each fort. The wool's not accumulate. Like it, it seems to me we could probably go down to one worker at this weaving hut. We'll see what happens. We'll see if the wool accumulates a lot. But it seems like we have a lot of cloth, and we're just we're we're actually we have so much cloth, or sorry, so many clothes that we're not even making clothes. Like we're capped out there. So I'll move up minus one on the weaving bit. So there's five soldiers. We go back into our book here. We go to our army, go to our soldiers. We can give them all weapons because that quest gave us five weapons. Otherwise, we just have to purchase weapons. Who was it that will give us weapons? Want Wants to buy. Wants to sell. So, so we actually... Yeah, we need, to, we need to get Davenport. Davenport has the clothes and the weapons. Because um, what happens is if you want more soldiers, you need to equip them with a, with a weapon to make them effective. And then also, uh, sometimes they die. But here's the thing. There is no combat in this game. It's all abstracted. There's just little missions that come up to go help the king. She's like, would you send soldiers to go help the king? It's like, yes, we'll send soldiers. And if they're trained, experienced, and have weapons, they're less likely to die and more likely to successfully help the king. That's all it is. It happens over and over and over. It works the exact same way every single time. You want about 10 soldiers with weapons that are somewhat trained. Training is just literally just a matter of them just sitting around, twiddling their thumbs long enough, they'll become trained. That's all it is. Um, and their strength will go up as they get trained. Sometimes they'll come back injured. It takes them a while to recover. Sometimes they'll come back dead. Or they don't, you know, they don't come back at all. Monk has come into the village. So the all the missions, all of the sort of the abstracted combat, all of that stuff I'm hoping is completely placeholder at the moment because it's insanely repetitive and insanely shallow. Um, so hopefully, you know, these, these presumably are not only just like a lack of content, but it, it's literally placeholder. 
is the way that I don't know that for sure, but that's the way that I've interpret I'm interpreting it. It's saying we have a comfort sh shortage, but really? It's saying desirability is low out here as well. Build another well, that will improve desirability. This sure seems like a highly desirable area by the water. We could be building more homes out here, but it's so GM packed, it's pretty high density in here. We could be building more homes, but they're kind of opting not to for whatever reason. I think the um, the higher level citizens, the commoners is what they're called. I think the commoners are probably complaining because they want higher level housing. Don't know how you could be at minus 240%, but Gadessa is actually her bailiff, too. <laughs> Some of these people might actually leave. Why are these people so angry? I mean, there's room in the church. Is there not? It, it, to me, a lot of the time... People like like oh, I guess it's it's actually full. It's like legitimately full. A comfort shortage, and yet all you have to do is just keep building more houses. There's plenty of room to build houses, peeps. Yeah, I, I'm gonna allow for just like a scooch of additional housing out this way. Near the I, I wanted those to be more of a pasture. But if it can manage to build a house in that tight little area, we'll let it. Um, but I don't know if it's actually going to calculate that there's enough room. To, there's definitely enough room to build out here. There's no way that's not enough housing room. The game is really rather particular. And of course, we can't go in and actually build the houses ourselves. So kind of limited in a sense. If these people want to leave, that's fine. People just replace them. No big deal. No big deal. We probably need some of these houses to actually go to tier two, though. And again, there's really, I mean, I guess, okay, is it desire, Is it a desirability issue? Let's let's well, let's add some hedge, which I don't even think hedge actually has any effect on desirability. But let's let's give you a yard. Although I don't want to restrict people's ability to build homes out here. Hold on. Looks like something's being upgraded, yeah. Houses are upgraded and that should fix some of that issue. So this will be a level two desirable, like well, a tier two house for the people wanting a tier two house. Hey, here's a, uh, here's the military mission. Help requested. It's always the same, guys. It's, it's always the same. Says it's super easy. Says it's far away. Get some gold, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, the thing is, I don't know if our soldiers are actually trained right now. Untrained. So I'm going to say no, my soldiers only serve me. I'm not going to do that quite yet. We're still at zero breath. Okay, we do have a milk. We, do, we have a milk. Wait a second. 
Yeah, we do have milk excess, so we do want to actually get the cheese maker. Two cheese makers. Do we have the ability to sell cheese or milk? To buy. No one wants to buy cheese, so we just have to eat all of our cheese. Yeah, we're making too much cheese. Well, we could have another, uh, we need it. Well, we're, we'll have another marketplace out here somewhere. Yeah, we'll have another marketplace out here and um, it'll sell cheese and bread. Yeah, cheese and bread. Uh, honestly, we're making some money here. Uh, we're doing quite well. Um, this village is, I would consider to be rather sustainable. And there's some people complaining that they're not living in nicer housing. That's changing. Houses are upgrading right now. This actually looks like one of these houses got built. The houses are being built. It's not, it's not a quantity of houses. It's the, um, it's the quality of them. That's changing. That's changing. We are going to need another church though somewhere. And it's going to be a little, we probably, probably is just going to be a rustic. Or we'd expand the one we have. Or we could build a second one and kind of make it look like it's like a complex. Like it's, it's a church complex. It is just a little baby church. Yeah, with snapping off, I wonder... Hmm. Almost lines up. I kind of wish the game was a little smarter about lining those bits up. Let's jam it in there a little bit more. I think that's a lot better, actually. Maybe just like a single notch up. I don't want it to be taller than the other one. So we're going to try to, and we're probably going to use hedges. And we can have like a communal sort of graveyard here. this that's actually kind of neat kind of like a groundskeeping shed or something I kind of like this now let's go in with the hedges kind of clicking them and they kind of pop out and get a little more rounded.
A little bit weird that that's a jagged edge there, but we're kind of trying to get rid of this stone working area that's right outside the church grounds. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Oh, a commoner has actually left. Well, that's kind of a bummer. That's how it goes, I guess. Well, we have a lot of happiness now. It wasn't a, it wasn't a Godessa, was it? Click to send a bailiff. It was Godessa. <laughs> she had like minus 240% happiness. Um, I think this church area is going to be pretty sweet looking, actually. When it's all said and done. That's going to be kind of cool. It's a little unfortunate this stone gathering is like right outside the church area, but we've kind of tried to make it so that they're isolated areas, right? Anyways, I think that's looking good. I think we're making progress here. Oh, we could do, wait, uh, week one, day seven? Um, hey, hold on. We need, to, we need to get a bailiff. Is the other person, you know... The other person quit. Monk is requesting an audience. These are needy times. So they want wood. We have a lot of wood, actually. Let's do for the people. That's done. So unfortunately, it's week one, day seven, but it's not letting us promote anybody. Villager path is blocked. To me, it looks like everything's everyone's getting everywhere. They were hammering on this, hammering on this. I don't know what they're complaining about. This looks like it's uh, it's working, guys. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out for this episode. I really appreciate that. I think we have, you know, honestly, I think we're making a lot more money. We're actually hitting up to our cap now. And we're making just tons of money at the marketplace, but the upkeep is going up. This church is going to increase costs a bit. Uh, we should be getting bread up and going now that we can assign people to be a baker. We should be making flour. Yep, we have flour so we can make bread. Once we make bread... We'll be able to sell the excess clothes, start making money from clothing. Once we get more people uh, promoted to commoners, we'll be able to just make more money from our own population who will start buying clothing. We have 170 cheese. I mean, we're doing 200 fish. I mean, this, this is a fantastically successful village. And we could just keep going and going. You can see that if we look into the, uh, the estates here, we have... Uh, monasteries are pretty uh, massive structures that you can build. The taverns are pretty massive, actually. Luxury goods, a sort of luxury participation at the taverns for the highest level of citizen, which is citizen above commoner. The monasteries uh, help create some of those luxury goods, like um, wine and, and, and honey and stuff. Um, see, I feel like the kingdom one, you need to be able to build castles here, right? Like... So that's something that hopefully, like, I, I I don't, I hope, you could still, you could technically currently make castle-looking things by mixing the forts with the with the Lord's manors. By mixing monuments together, you can actually make some kind of cool things. People have been very creative about it. But I still think you need more traditional, stereotypical castle structures um, that would make a lot of sense. Because you could see with the with the kingdom thing, there's really not much. I mean, a hunt, hunter's hut, weaponsmith, okay, that's it. That's literally it, right? 
monasteries and churches and mon churches are like uh definitely not just they don't just look different than the rustic churches they have different pieces so they're actually the churches are really cool and then you have the monastery which is like a big massive like what are the biggest the monasteries and the taverns are like the biggest uh um most customizable monuments in the game actually but you could do so much more with that right they, they could add so many more different kinds of monuments and more pieces for the monuments i mean don't get me wrong this is this is neat but but i mean like like this is special this is something else down here but this for the rustic church I don't know. I mean, it feels like you'd have way more individual pieces, but the monument system is really cool. The gridless building is really, really cool. The zoning is really, really neat, being able to actually sort of dictate. Um, having some autonomous housing growth is really, really cool, but but doing it gridless with the, with the zoning, the city skylines, SimCity style zoning. Being able to actually paint down the fields. I mean, look how good that looks. That looks so good. That looks so good. Just like wiggling itself in like organically into the into the available painted area. Oh man, that looks so good. So there's some really cool things, and you can make you can ultimately make a village that that looks really, really nice. Um and you can be proud of it. And in this case, we have something that's completely sustainable. We're losing a little bit we purchased something at the trade from the trader but for the most part um, we're making profit we have money in the bank this village is going to continue to flourish and we can continue to buy more tiles and expand it and continue to work up some of the things that we haven't quite unlocked yet goldsmith and, and jewelry and stuff for luxury resources you know the hops fields to make beer to sell at the tavern and so on and so forth lots of stuff we could we could work towards but guys, this might be the end of the series. This might be just a quick look. I, we don't need to play through every ounce of content in the game. Um, you know, let you guys uh, have some things to discover if any of you guys are interested in checking it out yourselves. But we'll definitely do uh, probably another series on this um, when the game is uh, either closer to release or released. Because um, that would be really cool to uh, check it out at that point. Um, because, I don't know, that could still be years away. I don't know. It's been <laughs> in the early access for a long time and and uh, it is being updated, but at a, at a, I think it's fair to say it's going at a slow pace. Um, if you guys have questions or comments, please leave those in the uh, comments down below, and I will absolutely respond to all of those. I read every comment, guys. I mean, it's not, it's not a joke. I read every single comment, and I respond to 99% of them. Sometimes I don't respond to them if there's just nothing to respond to, but if there's anything to respond to about the comment, I do respond. So um, thanks, everybody for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.